Hello YouTube. Haven't made a video in a while, but I'm going to show you the difference between a holdover trout and a stock trout. It all depends on if you like to take your fish home to eat, but as you can see here, pretty successful day of fishing. Got this nice one, those two, and these two as well right here. And I still released about probably half a dozen smaller ones. I took these home, you know, I like to take a few this time of the year. It's mid-June, you know. Most of the time, after the last week of stocking, people stop catching fish, but I'm still lucky because I know some secluded spots where I've been releasing them all season, so I could still go, you know, months after stocking ended, and I'll still catch fish, but so these are the ones that swallow the power bait because that's all they seem to be biting on these past few days, but other than that, I mean, if there's not that much water in the river, so I would have used a spinner, but anyway, this right here is a bland... This is what I consider a fish that was stocked last week of the season. Colors are getting there, you know, not as bland as he would have probably been if I caught him the week he was stocked, but, you know, very bland colors. Now compare him to a fish that was probably stocked around early April, opening day, and more orange and salmon-like, you know. Take this beautiful orange meat and compare it to this bland, boring-looking fish. See if I can get a picture of the two of them next to each other, but yeah, actually. Yep. You got this one which is orange flesh. And this one which is really pale white. I don't know if now you could see it better. And the colors are also off too. Fuck. This fucking fish over here. The colors are off. This one you could see even for a rainbow trout, he doesn't have vibrant pretty colors, really dark looking. And as you can see this one, and the other two I have in the sink, especially this one right over here, have extremely vibrant stripes. That's the difference between, you know, fish that were just released from the hatchery and fish that have been in the water for a long time. And even in the fight, you could tell when you have a holdover or fish that has become wild because they fight harder. Their colors are more vibrant, and you might as well take them out of the bag for the video. The meat on them is just beautiful. Just beautiful. This is the holdover, and I'm bagging them separately because, you know, I'd like to know which ones are the better tasting ones. And then you have this bland ass fish. Very bland color compared. Very bland color. You have something that is extremely bland. Sitting next to salmon like quality meat. Really whitish. Back in the bag we go. Compared to this. Yep, so this is a pretty good day of fishing. Pretty good day. Also, two fish mounts I've got over the last year. 28 inch, eight pound steelhead from Salmon River, New York, and not that big actually. I regret getting him mounted. A 32 inch, 21 pound female king salmon which is a fiberglass replica made. It was actually ate the real fish, but it sucks because I got this fish last year in 2015, and this past year I got one that was 26 pounds and 40 inches on the dot, so shit, I got the one mounted from this year, but it came out nice, so it's whatever. So close up, this is an actual skin mount. Got him on a drift bow in the Salmon River. Really like the way both came out. Both done by the same taxidermist.